Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? So this video I will be looking at Warhammer Age of Sigmar's Grand Alliance Destruction Book. Probably, well now that I think of it, it's, it's not the smallest uh, army Grand Alliance book. That would probably be dead since it is technically one army. Uh, vampire counts if that's still a thing. Um, but this is the Grand Alliance Destruction Book. Now if you don't know what a Grand Alliance book it's a war scroll book with every war scroll uh, for that alliance and um, just a quick flick through it's just war scrolls that's it for each unit you don't get much fluff and when I say much fluff I mean you get a little bit of introduction here like that but other than that it's just all war scrolls in it for uh, whatever grand alliance you're looking at I've looked at death before I've looked at chaos I still haven't got the uh, I was gonna say the grand alliance I still haven't got the order book but I have the destruction book now, better late than never. Um, so let's have a look at it and see what's inside. Um, and these are incredibly cheap for, especially for a GW book. Um, I think this one was 13 euro. Oh my god, sorry. I think this was 13 euro. I bought it a while ago. I can't really remember too much. Um, but check online and you'll see it's for what they are, the price is well worth it. It's fantastic. Um, so destruction pretty much covers orcs, goblins and ogres, which is orcs now. Uh, goblins are called grots and orcs or ogres are called ogres. They're still ogres. Um, so with the contents you get a list of all the war squads and you get your alliances, or not your alliances, your factions. Um, so let's see what the first one is. Let me have a quick look here. Altogether, this book is 112 pages. It's full with 65 war scrolls, but there's no battalions in this book, so it's a little bit disappointing. But it's you know it's not really surprising. It's it's just a war scroll book. I think there was a there was about five maybe in the chaos book because the chaos book was massive. There were so many armies of factions in that. I think the death had two or maybe one battalion, uh, but this doesn't have any. But it has 12 factions. So it gives you plenty to look at in that. Um, so first up we have War Scrolls, Hint and Tiffs. And then the first faction is the Greenskins. And that's just your Orcs. Um, or your Oryx. I have to make sure I'm getting the names right. Um, we have Oryx Warboss on Wyvern up first. As you see the keywords, Destruction, Oryx, Wyvern, Greenskins, Monster, Hero and Oryx Warboss. Uh, he's followed by Oryx Warboss. Um, he, it has him here with on um, let me think of it, on a war board, but I think the options are there to take what out of it. You have the Auric Great Shaman, then you have normal Oryx Auric Boar Boys, Auric Boar Chariots, and then that's it. So you've one, two, three, four, five, six war scrolls in that one. That's kind of just like your basic Oryx. Um, kind of like your normal guys. Nothing really too special with them I don't think and then we come into the iron jaws uh, these guys have their own battle tone so you get more special rules in that you get um, battalions and other special rules and everything so we start off with them with Gordrak the Fist of Gork um, and he is on top of let me make sure I get the name of this monster right uh, two axes it's a maw crusher that's called maw crusher called big teeth so a fantastic looking model, really awesome. And then the other option you can get is just a Mega Boss on Maw Crusher. Uh, the white version painted here, which looks really nice. Um, full of special rules there. So that's your leaders, um, or heroes. Then you're followed by an Oracle Mega Boss with a brand new model. Uh, War Chanter, brand new model. Uh, Weird Knob Shaman, uh, Orc Brutes. Gorgrunt does the, the big massive uh, riders on. Let me see what the names are there. That uh, just says minutes, but they're awesome, they're big. Um, then you have your Orc Hired Boys, which is the old. Uh, I want to say Black Knights, but I know. Black Orcs. That's what it is. So um, that's the Iron Jaws, but they have their own battle tome out. You'll get way more special rules, more fluff with them. You want to. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 war scrolls and that's a pretty cool little faction. I'm sure they have plenty of 
uh, stories in their battle tome. Now we have the blo uh, the blown, the bone splitters, which is the old savage arcs. Uh, there was no new additions to these yet, but you have your arc shaman, which is on a boar, your savage arc war boss, uh, then just your savage orcs, which look fantastic on round bases, really nice. Um, orc boar boys. And that's it, so a pretty small faction, but they have their own battle tome out as well, which I forgot about until I seen these here now. So you're going to get your more special rules with these. I think that is the latest one. I think that came out. Uh, that came out after Iron Jaws, so it's going to be newer again. So uh, awesome little faction there, the Bone Splitters. I really like the Savage Orc uh, models. Um, then we have the Git Mob Grats. Now, so these are the goblins. So this is kind of going to be your main faction, the first guys, you know, um, you have your Shaman, uh, just your Grats and the Nasty Skulkers, I think that's it, is it? No, you have your Wolf Riders, uh, your Wolf Chariots, really awesome looking model. Then you have your Snotlings, which are still there, uh, your Snotling Pump Wagon, uh, Grats Bear Trucker, which has two pages to itself because this side here has the rules for the war machine and this side has the rules for the crew. Uh, the crew ain't on the same basis so that's why they get drawn rules like that. Doom Diver Catapult, fantastic looking model, would love to get it myself. Again you have the crew and the war machine on separate pages um, because they're not in the same base. Uh, Grot Rock Lobber, which I didn't know was a thing uh, until I was looking at this area. A uh, really nice looking model, uh, again separate rules, it's awesome. Uh, and that's it then for what would I call it? Get map. But it's the Grats anyway, it's the main guys. Uh, plenty of war scroll, war scroll goodness and that. There's a nice mix and match of units in there. Then we have the pretty awesome Moon Clan Grats. Uh, Moon Clan Grats. I was gonna say Glats. Uh, so a little bit of fluff here that I'm really wanting to read. I like to know more about these guys. I was fairly strong, strongly thinking about getting into these in eighth edition. So maybe now once they get an update in Age of Sigma it could be a thing. Uh, you have your Grot War Boss with plenty of rules, plenty of plenty of stats there with your melee weapon. Uh, Grot War Boss on Great Cave Squig. That's a mouthful. Uh, Grot Shaman, awesome looking model. Um, then you have your Grots, um, what were they called? Night Goblins they used to be called. Um, your Mangler Squigs, which is so big it needs a whole picture by itself. Or a whole page. Squig Herders. I like the idea. I don't know how to work or how to play, but it's pretty cool getting like a unit of squigs and getting them herded, herded, <laughs> getting them led by uh, some grots. Uh, and then another cooler unit again, grot squig hoppers. Uh, grot fanatics. Awesome to see. Then no way were they going to win Edge Sigma the fanatics. Uh, caves, squigs with their massive teeth, and all have the keyword Moon Clan as well. So they're pretty awesome. You get a mixture of grots and squigs in there, and then probably one of my favorite grot uh, factions. We have the Spider Fang grots, and so it starts off with grot big boss and gigantic spider. Uh, grot spider riders, um, which I would love to get a couple of them. And then we come to the big guy, the Arachnorok Spider. Um, this thing has loads of rules. Um, but the, the changes a bit on here, you just have the Arachnorok Spider. Arachnorok Spider carrying Spider Fang Grotz. Uh, and then carrying Spider Fang Grotz and Spider Fang Grotz Shaman. So plenty of options with that fantastic model. I have that model. It's just as fantastic as it is looking at on the pictures. Uh, and that's it, pretty small. There's not a whole lot of spider options. Yeah, you have the spider riders, the rock and rock, which you get three choices from. And then you get the big boss and gigantic spider. Uh, and then we move on to the Ale Guzzler Gargans, which is the giants. And if you guys haven't seen this artwork here, it's fantastic. It's a very old fashioned looking piece of art. Mixed with like new art, new modern art as well. Um, <laughs> he looks so cool. Just look that up if you haven't seen it. Um, it's a pretty awesome picture. And these are of course the giants. You have the El Guzzler, Gargant, and I think there's like one in this. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Destruction, Gargant, El Guzzler, and Monsters. He has a couple of special rules there. Um, the giant is always awesome to have. 
uh, Trogots, which are the trolls. Uh, you have the Felwater Trogots, which are the old river trolls. We have Rockgut and Sour Breath Trogots. I think that's it for them. Yeah. Um, these were. I think these had their own. There weren't like two separate things in the last edition. They're just like you want to upgrade them, upgrade them to the. I think to these guys. But they have their own war scrolls here. Um, pretty awesome. I like them models. They're expensive to get though, but I like these ones a bit more. Uh, Sour Breath ones. And then we move on to the ogres. Uh, one of my favorites. So we start off with the Gust Busters, or Gust Busters, sorry. Um, you get your fluff there. We start off with a Tyrant. Um, pretty long ability. Uh, some special rules. Massive stats, eight wounds, it's fantastic. Um, then we have the Butcher. There's no, what was there? There used to be a Tyrant, and there used to be, um, there was another version of it. It was like a cheaper version in points. But he's not there anymore, it's just a tyrant now. Then you had the butcher, and the other butcher was I'm terrible I'm trying to remember. Slaughtermaster, that's what it was. Slaughtermaster was the bigger guy. But for now we just have the butcher um, for the augers. Um, then we have a unit of augers, which are supposedly very, very powerful in Age of Sigmar. Uh, especially it's probably gonna be on the next page or go to it. The iron guts, um, they're meant to be absolutely wrecking house and uh, then we have the gorgers i hopefully they're better than this they weren't very popular in the last edition you used to only maybe take one if you were just wanting to for just for the sake of taking it but uh, i have one of the models i like them they're pretty cool and i like the fluff they used to have so when these get their own battle time out it would be interesting to see what the story with them is and uh, then you have your lead belters your ogres kind of cannons uh, your iron blaster which was immensely powerful in 8th edition, so hopefully it's just as good. Then your Grot Scrap Launcher, that's the same kit as the Iron Blaster. You get to make one or the other. And I have the old version of that, actually, I have the metal one that I still need to do. And then you have your Grots. Uh, I thought these were pretty cool, and I don't think they're, they're in it. No, they used to get Grots, but you used to get Trappers. And yeah, I think that was it, you used to get the Trappers. But you don't get many more, so it's just grats now. Still a pretty nice little unit, you know. It's nice to have like a big giant ogre, little tiny grat unit to go along with then as well. Then we move on to the beast car raiders. Now these guys are all the the ogres with kind of monsters and you know like the saber tusks and everything with animals, that type of thing. You have the hunter and all in this. But these have their own battle tom as well. There's three battle tomes from this already. So destruction is getting a pretty cool deal with it. Um, it has drawn battle tomes, so it's probably, well, it is full of more special rules and updated stuff and everything. But we start off with the Hunter, and uh, then we have, I love the Hunter model, but it's like immensely expensive to buy, and it's fine cast, so I'll never get it. Um, you have your Saber Tusks, which I love. Then you have your Stonehorn, I think, I wonder if this goes into as much detail as the battle tome did, because there's, I think, about three or four different versions. Of the stone horn out. I have that model as well, it's awesome. We have the Mornfang, the ever famous Mornfang cavalry. Uh, the Thunder Tusk, that's the alternate model from the Mornfang. He get the kit and they get to make one or the other. And the Yetis, which I have never seen on a table. And um, I've never seen anyone take them, not even in videos. Uh, and that's it, I know for. Um, let me think, the uh, Beast Call Raiders, these are the Stonehorn and the other guy, um, Thunder Toast, they all got different versions, they're the same model, but like you got like a leader guy on one, so definitely, if you're interested in getting these, go get the Beast Call Raiders Battle Home. And the Yetis, just looking at it, the Yetis don't have the keyword, um, Beast Call Raiders, but they're there anyway. And then finally, the last entry, is it? No, it's not second last entry. We have the fire bellies. It says fire bellies, but it's just one fire belly. Um, he was fairly popular in the last edition. Um, hopefully his rules still make him pretty cool. The model itself was crazy good, it's awesome. Um, the fluff for these in the last edition was okay. I like to read up on it to get up to date with it. Um, and then finally we have the the, probably one of the most loved thing, things in 
the ogre army. Man eaters. Uh, kind of hard to collect because they're expensive and you can only buy them by one model. But I have two of them. I have two metal ones which I need to get done someday. But basically, they're the ogres that leave. Well, they used to. This was the old fluff of it. Old fluff was. I'm not sure what the fluff is anymore. But the story with them, it was. They used to go out on their own to fight with any army that offers them money. So you have like a pirate one, you have a paymaster one, I think that guy is, a uh, ninja uh, guy. Um, so there's like, they're pretty awesome. There is, there's about like three, or at least three other ones out there. And that is it. Then you come to the last page and you get your, or last couple of pages and you get your few pages of rules. Um, that's it for Grand Alliance Destruction. Um, Lots of arcs and grats in it. If you ask me, I think like the ogres are okay in it. You have the beast power raiders battle come out, but there was no new models written. There's no rules and everything like that. But um, I'd like to see when the ogres get another update. Maybe some new models. Um, like a whole faction got new models for the orcs with um, the iron jaws. We got the <laughs> what some people call it the green cabbage um, but we've got the mark crusher I like it I think it's pretty awesome so that's it for the Grand Alliance Destruction what did I say it was 112 pages um, I think it's I think the deck one is slightly smaller I'm not too sure but it's a very cheap price you get all the destruction army in it you get your rules it's pretty awesome it's definitely worth picking up the only one I have to left to get is the order one um, I haven't picked it up yet, but I'll try and get it as soon as I can. Um, if this, if you like this book, if you like having a flick through with me and seeing what's in it, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. Make sure to let me know what you guys think. And thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next update.